Hello, good evening. I'm so glad to see you guys once more. Um, I'm about to do, I just got out of the shower and I'm about to do my makeup. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you. So now that what I'm gonna do, once I've already prepped my skin, it already has all the toner and the hydration on there uh, because this video is about me wearing makeup. So I'm gonna just go ahead and jump into the makeup so I won't take that long. The first thing that I do is I use the primer. I always, um, it's the Artistry Exact Fit um, Beauty Palm, so I always use that first, and I just apply this much. This is as much as I use. I you can use more if you want to, but that's all I use. Don't use much, and I just put it around my face. The next step that I do is after that, I always do a concealer, which is like this one here. I love this one from Artistry. Um, uh, perfecting concealer this one is the, this little sponge here helps really to glide the area I used to use it a lot but I tend to like a lot more just having more control with my finger where I can actually press down and I feel like that coverage is way way much better okay I put it on like this here uh, what I do is I just kind of this is what I do this is how I do my makeup. You can do it however you want to do it. It doesn't have to be the same. I feel like I have more control this way. But if you feel like you want to, and I'll show you here how you can do it. If you feel that you want to, you can always feel like you put on way more, more makeup this way for some reason. Put a little tab on there and whatever. This is the amount that I want to use and that's it if I feel like I need more I will add more but most likely I won't it's simple and easy that they can do every single day and they're regular and I've had this here this artistry exact fake I've had it for about maybe three months now so um, and as you can tell there's still some more product in there and as you can see I did get enough product out of it as well so that is my eye area right there the concealer part so this is the part of my video where my camera was unfocused for some reason but I am applying on the foundation on my skin as you can see. So hopefully you get to see a little bit of what is going on and how I used this foundation brush from Artistry to blend it in. But I'm not. I'm just the girl down the street doing a video showing you a natural kind of way to do your makeup. That's what I am. And it's already set pretty much already because of I was messing with my but as you can see it's already set in so what I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using um, the artistry studio um, the New York edition which is they did ran out of this but they do have new um, artistry studio which collection that just came out I will also leave a link there but these are beautiful colors that you can use this is the one I'm gonna be using, this one right here, for what is my eyebrows. There we go. Okay, so I usually start right here at this end right here, and then I just kinda of go at an angle to the shape of my eyebrow. I always start at the bottom and then I do the top one. And like I said before, what I love about artistry is this is here is actually an eyeshadow. Isn't that awesome? Look how nice that looks. It looks so natural and it's an eyeshadow. So there it is. There's my first eyebrow all shaped and done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one, okay? Okay, and do the same thing here at an angle. Follow the angle of your eyebrow. Okay? That's what I always recommend people. So I really, you see how nice that looks? I mean, let's see if I can put that. There we go. 
you see how nice that looks how nice and clean i really like my eyebrows like this if you like them a different way is i'm gonna do the loose powder um, from artistry what i do is i always dump it on the cap of it which there you go there's the a for artistry okay so what i do is i i dump it in there and i get a little bit amount like this here uh, it, this can last you for like two three days and what i do is i never put it back in there i always leave it like this and then what I do is do it, it comes with an artistry little sponge. I, I put it right here and I just dab it. Uh, the artistry makeup feels so light anyways with it or without it. But this just helps it to seal it. It makes your makeup last longer. And if you like that uh, matte kind of look, this Usually people stop right there and that is fine. That's what a lot of people like to do. I don't personally. You can try it either way and then you can decide which way you like it best. I always do it like this. And I leave that area right there. there. I leave it so when I put on my blush it's like if I was putting on powder there instead. If you wanna do it a different way, go for it. If you like it like that, hey, try it. Why not? Go for it. Whatever. And that's all I do. Now I let that set in. Eyeshadows. I do my eyes. And this one right here isn't actually a blush or contour or an eyeshadow. And that's how I use it. I use it as an eyeshadow. And I'm going to use the Artistry uh, eyeshadow brush. So I am going to start off right there. And just give it that contour kind of look. Really love it. I love this. Because this is something that I have taught ladies that have never worn makeup in their life. And once they see how simple and easy it is, they are amazed. And then you just blend it. You just like, oh, you're giving yourself like a little massage. It feels so nice and it looks so natural. And that's what you want. We want a product that looks so simple and easy and it's just not joking. Once you try artistry, you'll be like, oh my gosh, where have these been my whole entire life? You will, trust me. I know I was. Yikes. So there it is. It's that simple, that easy. If you wanted to darken it up a little bit, but this is a makeup that you can use, like if you're going on, if you're going to the beach and you don't want a lot of makeup, if you're going to the doctor's office and you don't want a lot of makeup, if you're going to go, to, if you have a teacher's meeting, hey, this is something you can use or something that you wear every single day and people are wondering, hey, is she wearing makeup or is that just her natural beauty? And yeah, it's her natural beauty. That's what we'll tell people. It's her natural beauty. So there's my eyes, well, not completely done, but what I do next is I always use my Artistry Studio New York Edition. This one is still available, which I love. It's three in one, because what it does, okay. see, smaller, there it goes, bigger. When you make it bigger, that's so you can do make them longer. When you make it smaller, it's so you can out long. Anyways, you can see how I just lift them up like that, right there, it's so natural, so beautiful, you're gonna love it. You're trying those, you're not trying to be those people that, whoo, you know, which I love the way they look but I know I would feel fake. I know I would be like, oh my gosh, that's not me. I can never do that. I want something simple. Everyday makeup that I can use.
and then I turn it to the other side. So I, I turn it, I make it longer, you see? Shorter, longer. My daughter, I'm gonna do a video of my daughter, how she does her, uh, not eyeshadows, her eyes. And it's just so amazing. People have actually told her what num, what size or what eyelashes is she wearing? Because her eyelashes just look so long and beautiful. And people think they're fake, but they're not. She's using Artistry Studio which is awesome. And then I did do the bottom because I want my eye to whiten out. You see how the difference, see how it looks even just right now. Just look at it. Look how bigger this one looks than this one. See, and if I don't do the bottom one, then that's when my eye looks kind of like, mm, like I'm still sleeping kind of thing. This is what I do. If you want me to do one where I do the eyeliner, I can. But this is so simple and easy and you look so natural, you look so beautiful. I do, I'm gonna go really fast now. I always concentrate more on my eyes. Uh, it's, I use the powder brush and then I just get rid of all this excess. You'll see how natural it looks also in pictures. And that's what you wanna do. You wanna be able to not have to use filters and people not knowing, oh, I wear makeup or not. Or, like I like to say sometimes too, you don't look like you're just gotten out of bed. And now what I do is this one here, this little brush is a highlighter contour brush, also with artistry. This is the one that I use. And remember I told you this one here, you can use it as a brush or eyeshadow. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna grab a little bit right here. And remember that area that I left without untouched with the powder? That's all I'm gonna do. And I always start off right here, you see? And I just swipe it. Swipe it, swipe it, swipe. Oh man, I sounded like Dora the Explorer. Dora. Swiping, no swiping. Swiping, no swiping. But I just put it on there. And we'll see if I can get a glimpse of it with this from the light. And then I do the other side. Start right here the same way. And blend. Just blend it. How nice that looks. And just kind of blend the, the outside of it. And then I, what I do is I just, I tap it. I always, I'm a tapper. So this is what I do. And that's what I do. That is my routine for makeup. Um, if you love this video, please don't forget to like, share, um, subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I'm not your regular YouTuber. I'm just a regular girl down the street that does their makeup like every other day using the best products that are out there. Literally, these are the best products. It nice. feels it feels so light. It feels like you have nothing on. You're gonna love I, it. You're gonna be like, Am I wearing makeup? Am I really wearing makeup? Yes, you're wearing makeup. And it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for seeing my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Aww.